Well, prepare to have your mind blown. We're going to derive a triple angle formula for this expression here. We've talked about how to do sine of 2x. We're given a formula for that, but we don't have anything for 3x. So here's what we could do in order to figure out what the sine of 3x is. What we're going to do is we're going to say rather than sine of 3x, we're going to call that the sine of 2x plus another x, right? I can do that because 2x plus x is 3x. And because I can write it like this, that means that I can say, look, this is from the last lesson, 5.4, I can use the sum, this formula here, the sine of two angles added together, I can use this formula if I call 2x u and 1x v, right? All right, so the sine of 2x plus x would be sine of u, that's 2x, cosine of v, that's cosine x, plus cosine of 2x sine of x. So that's pulling on from 5.4, right? Now, with that in mind, we come back to the new formulas that we learned today, and I start looking at the double angle formulas. So now, I'm going to replace the sine of 2x, I'm going to replace it with 2 sine cosine, right here. So that means this is 2 sine of x, cosine of single x, and then remember I have that extra cosine x out here to the side. i got to keep that in there. I'm going to add that to cosine of 2x, cosine of 2x, sine of x. Now here, I really don't know which formula to use, right? I'm not really sure what formula to use. I've got three different choices here. Um, and so let's go ahead and let's use, uh, well, let's just use the top one. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to replace this with cosine squared minus sine squared. And I'm going to multiply that times. Don't forget the sine x that was off in the end, right? Okay, now we just need to go ahead and simplify this as much as possible. Nothing new here except for simplification. So uh, this would be 2 sine of x cosine squared of x, because i got cosine times cosine right here. I'm going to add that 2, and it looks like I need to distribute out the sine x to both of these two terms here. So that would be plus sine of x cosine squared of x minus sine cubed of x. Now notice these are both sine of x cosine squared of x. So I can take two of these and add one more to it. I end up with three sine of x cosine squared of x minus sine cubed of x. So I'm going to do one more thing. Since everything in here is sine except for this one term and because it's a cosine squared, I'm going to go ahead and replace it with one minus sine squared. Why not? Let's see if this makes things simpler for us. If we put everything in terms of sines, we might find that things can start combining together. So I replaced the cosine squared with 1 minus sine. Looks like I need to distribute the 3 sine x here. That would be 3 sine of x minus 3 sine of x sine cubed of x minus another sine cubed of x. So that's convenient, isn't it? So it turns out then if I'm taking 3 away here and I take another one away here, that's 4 total. My final expression ends up being 3 sine of x minus 4 sine cubed of x. And that's about as simple as it's going to get. So, of course, at any point in time, it doesn't really matter. I mean, at any point in time, you could have stopped and said, well, this is going to be the sine of 3x, or this is going to be the sine of 3x, or this is, or this is, or this is, or this is, or this is. It doesn't really matter where you stop. But this is about as simple as we can make it, which is why it's the most convenient. This would be the formula we'd probably want to use. Now, let's try this for the second, second thing, right? Let's do the same thing for cosine of 3x. The only difference that I have here, I'm going to go ahead and start the same process, 2x plus x instead of 3x. I'm going to go ahead and call 2x plus x, I'm going to call 2x u. I'm going to call x v. The only difference here is which formula we're using. So for cosine of two angles added together, I come and I look and I say, oh, looky there. It looks like this formula. It looks like I need to do cosine of 2x cosine of x minus sine of 2x sine of 1x. So there's my formula so far, right? Now we're going to come back to today's stuff. And I look here and I say, well, I can use any of these. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I use. Let's just go ahead and use cosine squared minus sine squared for cosine of 2x. That's cosine squared x minus sine squared of x. Don't forget that you got this cosine x off here to the right that we need to multiply it in. 
I'm going to subtract now. Sine of 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. And that is multiplied, remember, by the sine x that's off to the right. So I can't forget this guy. Now it's time to simplify. Over here, I need to distribute the cosine x out. So I end up with cosine cubed of x minus sine squared x cosine x minus, and this looks like 2 sine squared x cosine x, right? Because i got sine times sine in here. That ends up being pretty convenient because I notice that I have sine squared cosine in both of these terms. So I end up with cosine cubed of x minus 3 sine squared x cosine x. Now, the same idea, you know, I could leave it here because that's not too bad, but I do see a sine squared, and I notice that everything else is in cosine. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to convert everything to cosine. I'm going to replace, then, cosine cubed x minus 3. I'm going to move this cosine x out in front. That's this one right here, right? Put this one out in front. And then I'm going to take the sine squared x. I'm going to write it as 1 minus cosine squared of x. I'll replace it with the Pythagorean identity. Now it looks like I need to distribute the 3 cosine x out. That's cosine cubed minus 3 cosine x. And then I have minus times a minus is a positive, so plus 3 cosine cubed. That's pretty convenient because I notice that I have 2 cubed cosines, right? 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 cosine cubed of x minus 3 cosine of x. And that's about as simple as it's going to get, right? Notice how similar these formulas are, by the way. Those are both triple angle formulas. You can take those and write those down. You might end up using them in the homework. Who knows?